All right, man. Let's see what's going on with this. Uh, yeah, I seen. I'm not even gonna sit here and cap to y'all. I seen clips of this shit, little here, like a small clip of this. I didn't watch the whole thing though, so we about to see what's going on. It's on playback. Shout out to them, and, and the whole AMP and all that. But um, where? Right, let's just feel me. All right, see what's going on. Why did you say you were gonna kill my dogs? Yeah. Hey, yo, yo, you know what I realized? Not the we. I'm gonna try to get better at this pause and shit. But you know what I realized? Once you start mentioning killing animals to uh to people, that's when this is lit for you at this point. You can say you kill everybody in the crib, niggas don't take you serious. You say you gonna kill the kill niggas pets, it's lit. Leave the niggas house. Niggas taking whatever you say. Okay, serious. I can leave the. I, you know what? Actually, I don't. Think, I shouldn't leave the house because my dogs are here. We'll take the dogs and leave. You're asking the question. I'm telling you, and you're not. Are you kicking out the crib? Uh, like telling you, literally. Yeah, sure. Literally. How what are you saying? You Sorry. just told me you were gonna kill dogs if I didn't do a twenty-four hour stream. Hey, nope, yo. Now you're just fucking being a liar. I'm not. I said it. I said I'm going to tell you what I said. I'm trying to tell you what I heard from you. These niggas laughing. Then you said you called me a liar. That doesn't mean you. Then you tell me. Nah, this is kind of funny. Nah, it's not funny. He's funny because he's wild. <laughs> <laughs> what is your okay, that this time nigga. I thought doesn't he sound like those school bullies in The Simpsons, like in those generic cartoons? Now you tell me. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, this it sounds like yard. So people don't know who what, what's the name again. So this is a streamer named Amaran. She is one of the biggest hot tub streamers on the planet. Definitely the biggest one on Twitch. Uh, she, I think so, she's number one on OnlyFans too. She's a huge OnlyFans. Yeah. Content creator, which means she makes tens of millions of dollars a year. Uh, as far okay. as the internet knows about her, she's very smart and very hardworking. And if you compare her hours stream to everyone else's hours, like combined, bro, yeah. she run. A, there's not a moment on Twitch where she's not. Fuck. Views. Hours stream twenty nine. Damn, 29k is crazy. I was watching 105 mil average viewers, 3500 peak viewers. Damn, you mean it's attraction though? That's tough. Live is what it feels like, yeah. and so you know, you could sit there and say she uses her body. Uh, uh, she does, sure, like I'm, she does. Hey, man. Is it sex work, basically? Yeah, uh, and she has an OnlyFans where she funnels people over from different platforms and shit. So, does she like monetize people's loneliness? Yes, yes, yes she absolutely does. So, like, there's things to and all, and all, all the things we're saying is very important later on, just FYI. Yeah, but now she's on a phone call with her husband, by the way, who's talking to her this way. Her husband seems to be oh, someone so. who's very involved in her career and was telling her, you need to stream more, which is crazy considering how much hours she streams. Mm, but yeah. it's almost as if he had some sort of. Yeah, I don't even. Command. Not to cut him off. I don't know how niggas stream 24 hours. I ain't gonna lie. I think the longest time I could stream is possibly 12 hours. And I don't even think I'm gonna be on the stream for the whole 12. I still might want to go take a shower. I might want to go eat. You know what I'm saying? I feel like that's within the realm of streaming for like 12 hours. But like, bro, just sitting there 24 hours, bro? I don't know. And it just if I got the fan base and niggas ask me to do it, hopefully in my lifetime, I'll do it though. Like, Enough people ask me. Real well on what he, she he did. did. So he was doing the puppet master shit. He had control of her bank accounts and everything. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. So basically, she didn't want to do nothing with it anymore. Yeah. So she was live on stream and she just she was getting these texts and she said, "Fuck it, nigga, I'm just gonna broadcast this shit." And this is the phone call she ended up broadcasting. What are you even talking about? You brought up the dogs out of nowhere. Exactly. What? What? He's getting more just, tight and she's crying. I, don't even bro. Understand what you're I can't even talk to people when they're crying like this. I know. That's my point. Yeah, and this nigga's not saying nothing. Yeah, this combo sucks. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a terrible this combo, combo is awful, you man. Nigga, it's make so if you're gonna scream at somebody, please make sense. Yeah, and I'm make, assuming yeah, this maybe to part, part of it we might have missed or something like that, but but this sounds this is a Yeah, there was a part a little bit before yeah. it. But he still made no yeah, sense no. even if you saw that part. Hey, this is this is a terrible conversation. A horrible one, bro. Cause what? Nigga didn't say nothing. I'm gonna tell you. You didn't say nothing, bro. Like, wasting time. You are crying. My point is, uh huh. Oh, are right. you listening or not? If you're not, then get the fuck out. 
Nah. I'm hey, yo, kicking out. Kicking out. Kicking out. I'm gonna say it one more time if you don't get it. Nah, word. Okay, for you to tell me what I didn't say, especially if the context is literally I was waiting for a response. Hmm? You were just calling me crazy then. I didn't because say you were that, crazy. No, 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 no. no. Dude, I'm gonna give you one last chance. I'm gonna irrevocably fucking destroy everything. Hey, yo. Playback. This is dictionary definition of verbally abusive. Yeah, yes. no, no, no. Dictionary that is a fact. definition. And any my son is volleying, like ver, like verbally uh, volleying her right now. I don't know why she's putting up with it, but you know what I'm saying. Uh, this is obviously not new. He's been doing this. Hundred and ten percent. I know for a fact he's been doing this shit. Anytime you bump into somebody willing to ruin your life, I'm telling you, that is not a good person. This is a person with corrupt character. I especially if you didn't do anything to deserve it. It's one thing, like, if you killed my family, like, I'm going to ruin your life. Yeah. But <laughs> this is not one of them scenarios. Yeah. This is an objectively bad person. And this kind of, regardless of the context of the conversation, Parker. this is not only no way to speak to your wife, mm. but Facts. especially your fucking business partner, mm. who's threatening to ruin her life and destroy her if she yeah. doesn't comply. Yeah, it's like hardly not having not part, power. Part Actually, it's a lack of power. Too. And you're trying to grasp onto any power that you have. This True. shit is just shameless. Uh, it's a shameless mm -hmm. grab you don't for control yourself, over right? her life. Because mm -hmm. right. he doesn't on. have any skills outside of what she's able to provide. For sure. And so, even though we don't know the entire Brian context, and I haven't heard what the fuck he has to say yet. Mm -hmm. These conversations look damning because it's like you knew this was being broadcast and you still felt comfortable screaming about to say, some shit that made no sense. That's another thing, bro. Social media got people fucking out, bro. Because for you to even know or for you to just be willingly just saying all of this shit, and you, I'm pretty sure he knows she on stream, you just saying all this shit, not even thinking. Or maybe he thinking on like, oh, this is gonna be content or controversial or whatever. But bro, come on, son. we gotta get out of that. Like you're wilding on your wife on a live stream, bro, about her not doing the stream, telling her you gonna kill the dog. It's like what? And and not only that, because he felt comfortable doing it while she was broadcasting it, more than likely means this has happened pretty common. Ex like, yeah. pretty, exactly. Pretty often, exactly. often exactly. enough for this to not fact. only be um, like routine, but she just got the text and was like, oh, this is like, I'm, I'm this done. Is normal. Like, this This has happened so many times. I've gone through this phase so many times. We already know where this is leading up due to just a text alone. So I'm going to broadcast it, bro. Fact. I'm going to broadcast it. You're about to lose your entire This is like the last life. step. In terms of everything that's been built, because yeah. you're too oh. obstinate to just accept, merely accept that you didn't hear it. I'm already that's very good. forgiving about that. You know, because you want to go aggressive and you want to say, no, I. I ain't gonna lie, I just, it just dawned on me, I'm sorry. It just dawned on me, and there goes the text right there. It just dawned on me. This nigga was yelling because of a misunderstanding of what he said. Yeah, exactly. Not, not I even thought it was something bigger, else, but just like, off of a misunderstanding. That's why I'm like reacting to certain like certain clips. Like I'd rather react to the full video because it might be something out of context, might be something I didn't catch. But he just explained it, and it don't sound like it was that's about how nothing. that nigga re was reacting. <laughs> fucking crazy. And it'd be, and it'd be one thing if it was like, I'm yelling, and then I just quickly reiterated myself. Bro, he was yelling repeatedly, just solely based off of that alone. So these are the texts. Uh, they're, they look pretty fucked up when you read them all. He says, how the fuck long is that car ride? Stream lag is so bad. This is fail. Massive, massive fail. The fuck are you doing? Get the <laughs> fuck if there. Nigga needs the autocorrect yeah, yeah, yeah. like ASAP. Yeah. <laughs> thing is, he the must have a prehistoric phone. Next time when I say a plan, do it, dumb fuck. You understand? Fuck you. Get the fuck outside. I'm calling you. She says, I can't talk right now. We are getting Wi-Fi. He said, don't care. Last chance. I'm about to dump your luggage. I'm throwing your stupid merch off the balcony. Oh, Proceeding to ditch your stuff. You business. don't need the makeup or the live you or the clothes guy, huh? Deleting social medias in one month's minutes. Yo, play that. You know how, like, furiating, like, frustrated somebody has to be for them to, like, type, like, like, type right? this? Yeah, like... Well, like, look what he says next. This is dumb shit. Buying options that expire and blasting the cash. I'm about to shut down the World Bank account and uh, your Insta, too. Lag is terrible. The stream is garbage. And then he says he's about to shut down the bank account, and then he actually starts spending money. 
250k gone. I'll donate 500k in three minutes. If no call in one minute, I will absolutely make sure Kieran goes to the meatpacking house, which is the dog, the dog I guess. Yeah. Hey, 20 seconds, yo. time's up. 750,000 gone. We now cannot do down payment for another house call 250k in five minutes. So niggas just blowing bread yeah. at the just first of all, you can get this money back. For sure. Uh, actually, Especially, I don't know how much of it is covered by insurance. I know 250k is definitely covered by the government. But at, at this but the, rate that he's spending it, well, some of this money can be yeah, yeah, this this so But it's still just fucked that this was his response. Like this nigga's not spending yeah, like a couple of thousand. This nigga's like wanna break of spending millions of dollars. Exactly. Yeah. In ten minutes, you'll never talk to my nephews again. Tweeting in two minutes. One minute gone. Tweeting in one minute. Nah. One million donated to Palo. Maxi, the maximum available contribution is 999,000. Let me reduce no, it a crazy. dollar. Yo, no, so. this nigga's nuts. No cap. This is a fucking asshole. Yeah, this shit is crazy. I ain't gonna lie to you. Like this is a typical day at the office for me. But this shit gotta be happening often, yeah. though. Like, this it's can't be just her. Like, that's crazy, bro. Relationship. More like relationship. <laughs> <laughs> I like I like her attempt at humor during this troubling time. The corny yeah. shit. Aww. I would lock my door, but he broke that too. Hey yo. I can't say I don't know how people being abusive abusive relationships, but sometimes I mean only know so they don't know the difference between a healthy and abusive relationship, but this is crazy. Oh. Best no, advice no, I can give during my divorce my grandma uh, gave. Took the, this the too phone shall from pass. Me. The phone's from me. It you continues to go on a lot of disturbing stuff. Oh, like brother? Um, not only yeah. after that, though, because she streamed alive and everybody knew about it, people were kind of concerned about her, her well-being as well. So some people called the police to do, like, a, um, a checkup a on her and stuff like that. Because she basically just, like, went ghost after, like, a few hours, so nobody didn't know what was happening. And obviously, it, it seems as if, like, there is some form of um, abuse in this type of relationship. So, of course, people called the police. Um, for a while, then nobody didn't get a, get a response. She actually put in her stream chat, that um, police are here. So the police did come, they did a, a wellness check on her. This is the response. This actually just dropped like a few minutes ago. Mm -hmm. So this is actually brand new. It's actually the first time that he's ever heard himself on a recording. Cause as I told you guys before, previously when I recorded him, he would just like refuse to listen to recordings. Sometimes with like take phones, etc. So he would never actually hear them. Um, Man off topic. Hair is nice, though. And I, I think that lie. when he heard She's himself. She's a natural, what is that, what is that, what is that, what is that? Like, redhead? Got the eyebrows as red as fire. When that call, it really sunk in how much of an asshole he is. <laughs> it's like you never fucking realize, you idiot. Anyway. Um, oh, she took some back? So as of today, though, I have access to all of my accounts and finances again. Uh, he's not here. He's getting help. And I'm seeking legal and emotional counsel. Oh, hey, her. legal counsel That's for sure. She needs to be careful she what she be. says because... Like, well, I'm saying you gotta take this shit right here to court. Cause yeah, I don't know how so. much of that money is retrievable. One, but two, that had to have been a crime what he did. I don't Without know what I don't know what state yeah, he's yeah. in, but it has to be a crime to no, sabotage that crazy. way. So obviously, it was horrible, despicable. Um, there's no real okay. justification of why he was talking to her like that, unless like like you said, she did something like dire, like something crazy, right? Mm -hmm. Um, so of course, like that was more or less how. I would say 75, 80% of Twitter was, like how people responded. However, there was a whole nother side of people who decided to focus on two other things. A, oh, she got a husband, which people thought was, I guess, like, she, they felt lied to and stuff like that. I would argue mm -hmm. two things. A, she that's works. definitely not top priority right yeah. now. <laughs> top like priority her, getting, her being verbally abused, her having a husband is not top priority. Two, nigga, everybody keeps telling y'all that. I don't know why, I don't know why that's a fucking surprise to y'all, that these people are, are actually in relationships, bro. They're mm -hmm. in relationships relationships you niggas just now find it out because you've been beating your meat behind a fucking hey, twitch um, model for how how many ever months now that's on y'all bro everybody keeps saying that these women are in relationships you buying into that because you're a lonely fuck who wants some attention and believe that you put in your fucking mind that someday if you donate enough money that she's gonna actually come in your real life like come on bro people been saying that that's sorry that's like, that's crazy. Crazy. i'm not even going off this with this nigga's oh, okay yeah. but, but there was actually several people but i know 
A Rab is trolling. Yeah, he's definitely he's definitely <laughs> trolling. Oh well, first of all, how do you feel about that? That she was lying about her or not not disclosing I'm, that I'm information. I'm not surprised. I'm it's not. just it's funny because when he was arguing, he was saying you're gonna ruin the business model. He knew that her saying she had a husband was going to make she, she was going to reduce her revenue as a result. Yeah. And the nigga's a businessman, so of I'm course he's smart. gonna we'll prioritize above all else, above her emotions, above the well-being of anybody else, above the, him monetizing loneliness. Profits. Yeah. yeah. That's a true capitalist right there. For sure. He does nothing. There's not any trauma he's not willing to create in uh, pursuit of profit. To, it is what right. it is. None of it is surprising to me. No. Uh, the part that was the most surprising is just how he was talking to her. Nice. And how uh, she would tolerate Agreed. it. Because that's Facts. not the first time that shit has happened. Mm-hmm. That was the part that surprised me the most. But like, it's yeah, not the, like yeah, yeah, yeah. do y'all think it's them not, texting you? Like, that? Yeah, 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 yeah. When you're on OnlyFans yeah, and they yeah. hit you up with a message, hey, do you want to buy this new thing for $15.99? Do you really think it's them messaging you? Unless you're the top fucking client but it is not them they